In this video, we will look at how easy it is to convert a percentage into a decimal. Before we do that, let's look at what happens when you divide by 100. If we had 7 over 100, the fraction 7 over 100 can be written as 7 divided by 100. And if we took 7 and we divided that by 100 using the long division method, we put 7 here, 100 outside, and we try to divide 7 by 100, we ask ourselves, how many times can 100 go into 7? And we know it cannot because 7 is too small, so we put 0. And now we put a decimal point and we add some zeros to give us some placeholders. And now we try 100 into 70. And we know 70 is still too small for 100 to go into it at least once. And so again, we put the decimal point on top and we put 0. And now we try 700. How many times can 100 go into 700? And we know that is 7 times. 7 times 100 is 700. When we subtract, we're left with 0. And so 7 divided by 100 is 0 0.07. That is our answer. But look at the question. 7 was also in the question. And 7 is also in the answer. It's only in a different position. And so in the number 7, there's really a decimal point right after the number 7. And if we place zeros before the 7, we can see that in order for us to arrive at our answer where 7 is two spaces after the decimal point, we have to move once, twice, in order for that to happen. And so dividing by 100 really means moving the decimal point two places to the left. 7 divided by 100 once, twice we move the decimal point, and that gives us 0 0.07. If we look at 4 divided by 100, all we have to do is take the 4, place a few zeros in behind it, and move the decimal point once, twice, put it in place, and we see that 0 0.04. 9 divided by 100 just means to move the decimal place two places to the left. We put zeros to hold the place once, twice, there's the decimal point, and that's 0 0.09. Let's look at some bigger numbers. 14 divided by 100. Let's place a zero there and move the decimal place once, twice, and now our answer is 0 0.14. 63 divided by 100. We put a zero to hold the place, and we move once, twice, put the decimal point, our answer is 0 0.63. 82 divided by 100. By now you can see that all we have to do is to move the decimal point twice, put it in place, and that is our answer, 0 0.82. So let's look at how to convert a percentage into a decimal. How do we convert 45% to a decimal? Let's look at the steps. The first step is to divide by 100. That involves moving the decimal point two places to the left. So instead of doing long division, we can simply use the shortcut of moving the decimal point two places to the left. In this case, 45 divided by 100, we move once, twice, and we put the decimal point in place. And step two is just to place a zero to the left of the decimal point if it is needed. And that is our answer, 0 0.45. 45% as a decimal is 0 0.45. Question two. Let's convert 79% to a decimal. Step one, again, we divide by 100, but instead of doing long division, we're gonna move the decimal point two places to the left. One, two, there's the decimal point. And step two says, we're going to put a zero in its place. And the answer is 0.79. 79% as a decimal is 0.79. How about a small percentage, like 6%. Step 1, divide by 100, moving the decimal point two places to the left. 1, 2, there's the decimal point. And now we're going to place zeros where needed. We notice that there is a zero missing there and a zero missing there. And so our answer, as you can see, is 0 0.06. 6% is not 0 0.6, but 6% is 0 0.06. So what did you notice? You should have noticed that changing percentages to decimals simply requires keeping the same digits, but moving the decimal point two places to the left.
one, two. And that's all to it. So now it's quiz time. Convert the following to a decimal. You have five seconds to answer. 5%. And time's up. 5% is 0 0.05. 5% is not 0 0.5 because we have to move the decimal two places to the left. And when we do that and we place zeros in place, we have 0 0.05. Here's number two, 19%. Time's up, 0 0.19. That was easy. And now question three, convert to a decimal, 51%. Time's up, 0 0.51. On to question four, convert to a decimal, 28%. Time's up, the answer is 0 0.28. If you look at the question, 28%, and look at the answer, 0 0.28, you see the same digits. The only difference is there is a zero and a decimal point at the left. Question five, convert to a decimal, 105%. Time's up, the answer is 1.05. If you notice, in all of the other questions, every answer started with zero point something. And that's because with the digits present, when we move two places to the left, there was no digit in place. In this case, 105%, when we move the decimal two places to the left, there is still the number one to the left of the decimal, which we have to keep. So the answer is 1.05. Question six, convert to a decimal 1%. Time's up. The answer is 0 0.01. Again, the answer is not 0 0.1, but 0 0.01. 0 0.1 would be 10%. And the last question. Convert to a decimal. 513%. Time's up. The answer is 5.13. Yes, we can have percentages that are greater than 100. And now you've learned how to convert percentages to decimals. Great job.